find that sometimes when you change the frequency, it's going to change the output voltage a little bit. So it's best to, on your dis oscilloscope display, have it showing that you've got 8 volts peak to peak on channel 1. And each time you adjust the frequency, just check the oscilloscope and make sure it stays at 8 volts. The oscilloscope needs to recalibrate itself for the new input. So the quickest way to do that is just to push the auto function on the oscilloscope. First thing in the lab says we've got to set the output from the signal generator to 10 kilohertz. Generator with 10 kilohertz. It's already set on 10 kilohertz, but we need 8 volts peak to peak. What's the best way to do that? Very good. So we went into the uh, measure menu and then we selected channel 1 and then we selected voltage and then we selected the peak to peak function which gives us right so what we did we've still got the two uh, waveforms being displayed we can probably get rid of channel 2 for the time being we don't want that on there and channel 1 we've currently got it set for 5 volts per division well 5 volts per division uh, we're not going to see much on the screen so what can we do about that Good, so now we've got 2 volts per division being displayed. 2 volts per division, and now we've got something that we can see on the screen. The volts peak to peak that we set up before by going measure, and then coming down to voltage, and then selecting the peak to peak, don't have to do anything. We can't see any reading on there at the moment, and the reason is because the top of the waveform is off the top of the oscilloscope display. So I'll just turn that menu back off, and then we'll move that down the screen a little bit, and now we can see the voltage peak to peak, 8.16 volts. We need to go to the signal generator to adjust that, and we can turn that down just a little bit, bring that back down to about 8 volts. 8 volts. So now we've got the 8 volts peak to peak coming from the signal generator with 10 kilohertz going into our circuit. Here's the capacitor. We're taking the voltage across the resistor with channel 2. So now it's time to measure the voltage across the resistor. How do we go about doing that? The lab asked us what the voltage is at channel 2 while we've got the 8 volts peak to peak, 10 kilohertz being applied to the circuit. Peak to peak for voltage two. So, you're suggesting that we could turn on the voltage display? Okay, let's try that. Uh, source channel 2. Oh, channel 2. Good. And then... Uh, voltage? Voltage. Come down to peak to peak, good, and then press the button. Fantastic. Now we've got displayed voltage peak to peak for channel 2, and it's telling us 4.4 volts peak to peak. Now, one little problem the lab asked us to get the value for the table in RMS. So we've got a choice. We can expand that up to something that we can probably see because, you know, it's still sitting at 5 volts per division. I might just open that up a little bit so he's a little bit bigger. And then with that 4 volts, we could halve that and multiply it by 0.707 to get the RMS. What else can we do using the oscilloscope to make that easier for ourselves? Just the Take in the record again. We told it before that we want to measure in, we want to get a readout in peak to peak. What if we tell the Rigol oscilloscope that we'd like to get a readout in RMS on channel 2? How would I do that? Would the, the measure have... It's still on the measure menu. See the menu down here? It's still on the measuring menu. What do we have to do now? 
go to voltage. Go to voltage. And the big. Uh, uh, then scroll RMS. down until you get to RMS. No, with the analog control at the top. You've lost it now. You'll have to go back into voltage again. And the yes. And then press the analog control button. This one. That one. Press it in. Yes. And now we've got in blue to match the waveform VRMS on channel 2, 1.42 volts. So while we could have used the mathematics before on the peak to peak value that we had displayed, probably easier to just use the RMS function on the oscilloscope. And then when we go to do our table, the table we need to put in RMS values so that's going to make it a lot easier as we change the frequencies we can take the reading straight off the oscilloscope in RMS and plot them down in our table. Just check that channel 1 output stays the same. Yeah, just check it stays the same. A good quality signal generator shouldn't change too much, but a little bit to bring it back to 8. If it went to 8.3 volts, you'd have to bring it back a little bit back to 8 volts each time. Why doesn't it display anything? Uh, measure. The menu says measure. Source, channel 1 or channel 2. Uh, don't forget, RMS is going to be half the peak to peak multiplied by 0.707. So it's going to be quite a lot lower. 1.85, 1.78. It's trending down. You've got a couple of reversals here. Oh, that's close to 1.3. Look for the vision. I'm going to bring this back down again to something that said 8 volts peak to peak. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> 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 Check 7.92.